The Milwaukee School of Engineering, located in downtown Milwaukee, a very important part of our community. The school is growing with a new parking structure and new student housing. And joining us now, Herman Veach, president of MSOE. Thanks a lot for coming in. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. You guys have been going gangbusters lately with all kinds of growth. Tell us about it. Well, gangbusters <laughs> is a nice word. Yeah, like absolutely. Much. <laughs> An official word. Uh, we're, we're developing a, a new parking garage, uh, 750 cars, as well as a a soccer field on the roof so we'll be playing soccer downtown and it'll be the first time that we've had enough parking since uh, people came by horseback uh, to <laughs> yeah. MSOE. That's a great idea. Is that going to be just for students and faculty and staff, or will there be some public parking there as well? There'll be public parking as well, and uh, we think we can contribute to the development of that part of downtown and the Park East by having parking available for all kinds of events mm -hmm. and perhaps even for our neighbors when they're eventually building there. Yeah. We are the first building in the Park East. Yeah, excellent news. Now, the school is in the process of buying an older hotel that is, yes. is going to be used. Is that definitely going to happen, first of all? Well, we have one more committee, which okay. is the Board of Zoning Appeals. But I have to say it looks more promising now than it did. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, we this, like that. And this is really important because this building, the, the hotel, was under construction and then the economy went south. And it sat there and it's been honestly kind of an eyesore on a very key corner on Water Street. And now it's going to be magic for you guys and I think magic for the city, too. It's a highly visible corner, and of course the bankruptcy was associated with the problems in Iceland where the whole country went bankrupt, mm -hmm. not only the, uh, the bank. So it's an ill wind that blows no good, but uh, we think we can benefit from that, and I think the city will benefit because we're going to bring a lot of people downtown to live in that, in that facility, and we'll bring a lot of business. And as well, the bottom floor of that facility will be entirely taxable because it'll be a commercial space. That's good news for the city. And now let's talk about enrollment, MSOE. It is increasing, and that's good news for downtown yes. and just our entire area. Where are you at now, and where are you going? We're at about uh, 2,300 full-time students this fall. We expect to rise quite a bit from that because all of our programs, we have, as you may recall, engineering, nursing, and business. Mm -hmm. All three of those areas are very, very popular and will remain that way because they're a great way for someone to prepare for a great career. And your kids usually get jobs, don't they? Yes, about 95% <laughs> kids kids placement rate. See, and, that's impressive. And, and we will get back up to 98 wow. after this recession uh, is over, and I think that's on the way now. Well, it is great to yeah. see the success. We uh, would be remiss if we didn't mention the spectacular Kern Center as well there. Uh, just so many positive things happening at MSOE. It's amazing what you can do when you have good friends and support. <laughs> yes, and you as a leader, right? Okay, Herman Beats, president. <laughs> of Thank MSOE. You. We appreciate you being with us Thank this you evening. Very much. And we continued Thank you very much. success and thanks for all you do for the community. Yes, Thank you. Appreciate it.